Hey guys, you're watching Keep Straight Up, and I'm going to make for you today a really awesome fall recipe. We're going to take some brie apple and some fig jam, wrap it all up in some crescent roll, and bake it until it is melty fall heaven. You guys are going to love it, and let's get started. So we have one package of crescent roll here that we're going to just open up all the triangles and then lay them out in a circle. You're going to put the thick side in the middle and just fan out the crescent rolls like such. You wanna make a space big enough for your brie to go on and then for you to wrap it up all together. So something like this is perfect. You're then gonna press down the middle so that it's nice and flat and kind of spread out the crescent rolls a little bit so it makes a little bit of a bigger star. Once you've got a nice kind of flat star shape, you're gonna take your circle of brie and put it right in the middle and then press it down again. Then you're gonna take a little bit of fig jam, not too much, and kind of just put it out right over the top. You're just gonna spread it out you don't want it to be like overflowing off your brie, but you do want it even around your entire circle of brie here. So just like so. After that, you're gonna take your thinly sliced apple, red or green, I personally like green for this recipe, and just kind of lay it out, same way that you did with your crescent roll, but we're gonna make a circular shape with our apples this time. You want them nice and thin because the crescent rolls only take about 10 to 15 minutes to cook, so you don't want anything that's gonna to be too thick that doesn't get soft right away. Basically, we want some nice, gooey wonderfulness when this is done. So if you have any th thicker pieces, feel free to leave them out and just wrap it up like this. Then you're gonna just start folding up your crescent roll and reaching it all the way across to the other side. You want the crescent roll pulled nice and tight over your brie and your apple. So, and you wanna to try to leave as few holes as possible. So just kind of work it. You can always go back and fix it. The crescent roll dough is actually really forgiving, which is nice because you can kind of play with it and form it. But you're just gonna cross it over like this, trying to have as few as holes as possible. Now, a great fun tip is that if you stretch it over from side to side, if you have a mistake on one side, you can fix it with the, the crescent roll from the other. So have no fear, you got this. At the end, you should be able to pick it up and kind of smooth out any pieces that might not be wrapped and then place it on a rack. You're then gonna cook it according to the packaging at 375 to 10 to 15 minutes. After that time, your delicious fall appetizer is done. And after you bake that crescent, you have yourself a delicious fall appetizer made with brie, fig jam, and delicious apples. Cut into it, it's gonna be really melty and delicious, just like so, you guys are gonna love it. Make sure to subscribe to Kate Straight Up for more recipes like this one every week. Find me on Instagram, Kate Straight Up Cooking, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.